In this video, we're going to be making material schedules for drawer boxes and rollouts. And I'm going to go ahead and build two of them. I'm going to do a 5 8 maple and a just 3 quarter plywood UV box. So let's go ahead and give it a name. I'll just call it 5 8 maple. And make sure you're under drawer box in the category. Just erase the description. Across the board in material schedules, if you set it to buyout, it will give you the overall size instead of the individual parts. So for example, if you order your drawer boxes, you know, you really don't care to see like the drawer box back or the drawer box side. So if you select buy out, it will still give you, you know, in reports that you need a 20 by 21 drawer box, but it, it doesn't give you all the details. And the same is true for door material schedules. Like if you're outsourcing doors, just check, check buy out and you won't get all the little panels and left door styles and all the individual parts. So I'm going to set buy out on my 5 8 maple. I'm going to assume that I'm ordering this from someone else. And then on the UV box, we'll leave that as no. Now, I don't have a 5 8 maple. We only have one board, or one board stock right now, and that's the 3 quarter solid cherry. So let's go back to our material library. And under board stock, I'm going to right click on the 3 quarter solid cherry and copy it and we'll call it three quarter solid maple this could be birch or popular whatever you make your drawer boxes out of too and under board it's going to be 0.625 for 5 8 rough thickness isn't really important but i'll change to three quarter anyways okay now we got to change a few textures I want to import one of my textures. Let's close out of here and let's go to the texture manager and go to the wood category and click new texture. And let's go to that little folder I have on my desktop that we saw earlier. And I have finished drawers. So I'll just call this finished drawers. And I'm not going to tile it, I just want it to stretch to fit whatever the board size is, but I do want it to be a decal, which means it does not blend with the finish color. Okay, so now I can select that texture on my 5 8 maple. And while I'm in here, there's no reason it's blank on the end. We want to go ahead and put a texture there on cherry as well. Okay, so now we have our 5 8 maple. Now for this one there's only one part, so I'm actually not going to create a filter. I kind of reserve that for like things with several different pieces. So now let's go back into our drawer box material schedule. 5 8 maple, and now if I just search for maple, you can find 5 8 solid maple. And I'll assign this for the entire drawer box. I don't know why cherries in here. Uh, if I right click on it, I can remove it, and I can either drag it in again, like this, or I can also right click on it and say match the parent. So a couple different ways you can do that if you accidentally misassign something. One other tip on material schedules, I like to highlight what I'm doing before I go drag it over. So like for example, I want to put a quarter inch UV plywood on the bottom. So you know, when I start dragging over here, it's kind of easy to get lost on where you're at. So what I like to do is before, especially when I'm doing like just individual overrides, highlight the part you want and then drag it over and then it stays that gray color so you can easily see what you need. So we're going to do quarter inch bottoms and then we don't need banding so I'm going to remove that. So the front, the side, partition, divider, and back are 5 8 solid maple and then we get quarter inch UV. And then let's copy this and make a three-quarter pre-finished UV. And this is not buyout. And then we'll just swap out instead of 5 8 maple. It's going to be using three-quarter UV. And we're still going to use the quarter-inch bottoms. And this time I need to put the pre-finished UV edge band. Okay, now there's a separate category for drawer boxes and rollouts. So I just want to quickly duplicate the exact same things. So 5 8 maple. And I'll just do a search for maple. 
assign it to the whole category and then we know we want the bottom to be different and we don't want banding so let's remove the banding and then go grab our quarter inch bottom right there okay now we also don't need the laminate this is if you want to attach like a an added front on your rollout um, I'm not going to do that in this example I'm just going to have the front of the door box is going to be the actual front um, but that's the only difference between the door box and the rollout and then we'll just copy that and make a three-quarter uh, pre-finished UV and then just swap this around and put our banding in Okay, so you can quickly see, even if we're missing a part, like for example, we didn't have the 5 8 maple, super easy to go back and just add what we need and then come back and map those to the right schedules.